Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo Global, Ize Iyamu finally did the needful, braved up himself and made that call. You need to hear what he says. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time we're reaching you today, a very warm big thank you to every one of you for your support. Oh, we really appreciate you. Thanks for always being there. You are mostly and highly appreciated. I really appreciate you. God bless you. Ize Yamu, the guy that was defeated by Governor Gordon Obaseki in just the concluded elections in Edo State on Saturday, has finally braved up himself and called Governor Godwin Obaseki. He has finally done the needful and has given him a call to congratulate him, just like President Muhammad Buhari was swift to call Governor Gordon Obaseki, although he did not speak. Oh, uh -huh. Let me make that point clear. It, it was Garuba Shehu that made a statement, okay? They call him presidential spokesman. Uh -huh. and that's a Buhari for you. Although he did not speak, what he did was that he made a Garuba Shehu issue the statement saying congratulations to Governor Gordon Obaseki the very day the result was announced, okay? And uh, we all know what happened, the Obar of Benin. We know that he went ahead and he, you know, told the, he told the two contenders then, uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki and Izzy Yamu says, listen, see guys, I want you guys, he gave them this particular description, example, and he was very clear about it. Do what good luck Jonathan did in 2015 when they say, when INEC declared that Buhari won, he immediately went ahead and congratulated, gave a call to Buhari and congratulated him. That calmed the storm in the country. He says, so please, this contest is between mainly the two of you because we've been saying the whole uh, you know, the old antecedent, the incumbent governor, and the other one getting the backing of big men like Captain Ehosa, Adam Sushumole, and the rest of them. He says, listen, listen, any one of you who emerges the winner, the other should pick up the phone and call and say congratulations. But we all know what happened. When the result was announced, that before the end of that day, APC made a statement, particularly from Ize Yamu, saying that they are looking at the results, they are supposed to stay calm, and that they will, they will respond accordingly, and they will tell their supporters the next step. And um, until the time Governor Gordon Obasaki gave his formal speech, you know, uh, expressing confidence, you know, in the whole process, election process and the rest, he has not called. But finally, he has done the needful. He has gone ahead and he has placed the call. Let's hear what he says. Edo Global, Ize Iyamu did the needful, called Governor Godwin Obaseki. Hmm. The APC candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in Edo State, Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, has concealed defeat. He has congratulated the winner, Governor Godwin Obaseki, of the People's Democratic Party. Ize Iyamu also thanked the Edo people for their support. He appreciated them. For the massive role they played. He said in a tweet, Edo people has decided, we thank you all. Congratulations to the opposition party. They have won. Election no be war. It's time to work more, harder for the next four years. Congratulations. He said, it's not war. Uh, he finally accepted and said, I will, it's time to work hard, you know. And um, in another statement, he also said, is looking forward to, you know, uh, he will work hard towards the next, uh, you know, four years so that he himself, by the, by the time he's contesting then, is ready, you know, to come into office. Well, people, that's where we are right now. This is what is happening in real life. Uh, this is where we are today. Uh, we just want to let you guys know that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the decision of, um, you know, uh, Ize Yamu to allow Governor Godwin uh, Obaseki, 
you know, to have that congratulations from him is a good decision. Because everybody has been looking and has been waiting and has been saying, why have this man not called? Don't forget, before a politician, he was a pastor, okay? So people expect more character building, you know, behavior-wise from a, from a clergy, a man of God. There is nothing that says a man of God cannot contest in a political uh, uh, office. But the whole thing, what happened here is the people that Ize Yamu surrounded himself with. I tell you what, Adam Sushomole is beginning to lose his political relevance gradually. Adam Sushomole is becoming, people are becoming irritated by his style of politics. Adam Sushomole has gone on, you know, he has already been sacked by APC. He's been sacked already. Adam Sushomole has been sacked, you know, and people of Edo State are beginning to reject his style, especially when he started oppressing Obaseki. The more he spoke bad of Obaseki, the more people wanted Obaseki. Then that should bring a, a, a caution to you that there is something about this man. Be more careful and know how to handle things. So what happened? The more, but this was the same people that he surrounded himself with. The likes of them being, you know, Adam Sushomole was already a bad blood. He's not somebody you put around yourself. Captain Ehosa, not it's not in everybody's good book. Some people see him as being oppressive. Some people see him, they have different opinion. Why some celebrate him? We have the good, the bad, the ugly. In some people's book, he's the good. In some people's book, he's the bad. In some people's book, he's the ugly. So there are different opinions already. These were the people who were standing beside uh, uh, Pastor Sage Ize Iyamo. What about Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu? The role he played and the role he was playing. It was clear from the start that these are the people Nigerians have rejected. Then the US, the UK started, you know, this unending, you know, spectacle on our democracy, saying anyone that will undermine the, the potency of democracy will, will have visa bound. They cannot travel out of Nigeria to go into the, to go into especially UK and America. So this was cautioned for politicians. Hence, you see the level of transparency. Have you heard before that in an election, <laughs> there was helicopters, 31,000 policemen were, were deployed to Edo State. Anyway, guys, leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.